Hello, this is Troy, Kilo, Foxtrot 7, Sierra Echo Yankee, and today I'm going to show you my finished portable Pi setup. Uh, the screen is a 4-inch touchscreen that I got off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. It uh, comes with all the uh, necessary components to to um, put it in, in its kind of a plexiglass case and uh, connectors for the HDMI plus some heat sinks. Uh, the one I got is for the Raspberry Pi 4. There is other ones for the Raspberry Pi 3 if uh, you want to use it with a different Raspberry Pi. Uh, also I will put in the link description below on where uh, the information is for how to install the touch screen and the screen. Uh, it's pretty simple following these uh, steps right here. Uh, one thing about that is uh, you can hook up, you can turn it on right away and it will work without installing the uh, drivers for the touch screen. It's just touch touch screen won't work. If you uh, want to go that route, uh, the screen will come in 90 degrees off and you can use the Raspberry Pi screen settings to adjust that. I installed the touch screen because that's uh, what I was wanting to do use mine with so it comes with this little stylus that you can touch the screen with to uh, run items. What I did was uh, because I was building this as one unit the batteries is underneath so what I did was the piece that was with the battery original battery uh, this piece right here I took that off and just mounted the battery case to the bottom lower of this and then I 3d printed a piece to extend this up and I also mounted the fan it comes with a fan and it's designed to uh, double-sided sticky tape to the back side of this header here and it just kind of sits in space over the heat sink and because I can see it in there I wanted to use the original heat sink I had which is a little bit taller than the ones that come with it the fan would not fit in there so what I did was I 3d printed this thing allowing the fan to bolt on the outside and blow air across the CPU and the bottom of the screen and it works very well um, I'm actually very happy with it running how uh, cool it keeps it so and then here's the the piece where it plugs into the uh, HDMI plug and the Raspberry Pi. Now once you install the uh, drivers for the touch screen the it overrides the Raspberry Pi screen settings and you can't use an uh, external you know to the second uh, uh, the second monitor for it. So that's a downfall of the system. The other downfall is you can see uh, that the resolution's you know 800 by 480, so it's large when you use VNC uh, to connect to it. It's uh, something that uh, you know it's not not ideal for my situation, but it it definitely works for what I wanted, and I wanted this for strictly portable operations light as possible where I can plug it into my uh, ICOM 705 or my KX2 and uh, deploy quickly and not have to pack around a bunch of stuff. Um, it does work for that really well and uh, one, one of the other reasons why I wanted the touch screen was uh, on a few occasions I've had the hotspot not start up for me and I don't know why because I couldn't uh, couldn't turn I couldn't see the screen I couldn't you know I couldn't connect to it so I would have to po power the pie down repower it back up and then 99.9% .9 of the time it started back up I don't think more than maybe one occasion where I happened two times in a row so with the screen uh, you know I can it powers up and I can I can see what's going on I can see that's connected to the Wi-Fi or or something's not working right or that it didn't even boot up uh, I suppose that's always a possibility uh, battery life now that I've had the screen on there is a uh, dimmer switch here on the back of the the screen that allows you to uh, change change it 
and I usually run it at the you know fairly lower side of it and I got three and a half hours of battery life uh, out, of, out of running the screen run the JS8 call the other thing I've also have hooked up to it is a, a Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse that allows me to you know use it as a computer uh, with the mouse or like I said you know I have the stylus and the touch screen so one of the other things I also did uh, was installed uh, an on on uh, screen keyboard and that is called uh, matchbox keyboard and I'll put a link in the description below on uh, wh how to install that and so that allows me to type things in and like I did a test with it with uh, Win Pat Winlink where I sent an email uh, just using the on-screen um, keyboard works and that also works very well so overall uh, it definitely works for what I needed it to do um, you know this isn't a Raspberry Pi that I plan on using in my shack or even if I went camping I'm sitting at a picnic table I have another Raspberry Pi that uh, I can use for that and this is strictly I throw in my pack for when I'm hiking or I want to go fairly light and um, so far it's met those, those needs with the internal battery and the real-time clock and um, the touch screen it solves that one of the things that I think I will be getting for it is one of those real small uh, um, Bluetooth keyboard mouse combo it's, it's probably like three inches by four inches um, that's I'll probably be getting one of those to keep things small so hopefully this helps out a little bit. Um, I will be doing some more testing as I play with this to see how well it works out in the field. So look forward to trying that and if I find anything else uh, I will put out another video. So thanks for watching. 73 until next time.